So recently in my last trip to Europe, I had the chance to meet up with a friend from Moldova slash Romania and she was so incredible enough to actually teach me a little bit about her beautiful language. So this time I went into the World Wide Web, Fiverr, and I was able to find this amazing Italian teacher named Silvia all the way from Southern Italy. So today, Silvia is actually gonna try to teach me some of the most popular things set out in Italy, common greetings, and a few other things in between. So make sure you stick around and hit that like button for my friend Silvia. She's she's actually doing an amazing, amazing job. Which, by the way, if you wanna find her on Fiverr, it's gonna link, be linked down below, so go say hi. She's pretty awesome. Silvia, what's up? How you doing? Hello, everybody. It's Silvia from the sub of Italy. Nice to meet you guys. So today I scheduled a meeting with you to see if you could teach me some Italian. Do you think that's actually going to be possible? Yes, of course. I'm going to be so happy to teach you some words and some popular sentences. And it's going to be fun, actually. Also because I want to add something very peculiar, I, I can say, because <laughs> it's from specifically some dialects about the region I live. Because it's not just about the accent that is different. It's completely another language. I'm going to try my best. Good. Now, I'm going to try. So don't don't judge me, all right? Please. No, nah, no, nah, don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I will not do it uh, now, not today, at least. Oh, I knew you were the right one. <laughs> okay, so first word, astruso. Astruso. Yeah, astruso. That Can sounds like ostrich. Guess? Huh? That sounds like ostrich. Uh, <laughs> no. Is it? No? <laughs> no, no, no. Dude, ostrich, I was so no. positive I had that one. No? Astruso? Do you want some hints? Mm, I'm gonna try one last time. As through, so that means to like disturb, to like cover something, like obstruct. You close. Close. You close. What is it then? A concept that is very difficult to explain. So it could be like a concept that it's difficult to explain. So when we have to talk about art or something that it's so different, and we especially sometimes get up to even say that to a person that is difficult to find words to describe. Oh. So I say. The person is quella persona è astrusa. But would it be like a compliment? Like uh what would you say is esa persona As astrusa? That's the funny part, it's uncertain. You can't really tell. Means I, I don't know how to describe him. Means that he's very um I don't know, it's a, kind of eccentric, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Eccentric. I like <laughs> that. I like that. That that should be a thing. Oh my god. If I ever make Italian merch, I'm gonna put that word on there. Alright, what other words you got for me? Preteritenzionale. <laughs> you did that one last time. Preteritenzionale. 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 Well, you cannot close, you cannot close. Okay, okay, I'm getting it, okay, 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 I'm getting closer. <laughs> That's all that matters. You want to know what it means? Yeah. No, I'm gonna not going to tell you. No, what? <laughs> 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 is, that, is that what I signed up for? <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, it's something you go over the initial intention you wanted to do. So it's like somebody wanted to do something bad to somebody else, but actually he borders it. So, uh, oh, so it's like going over a plan that failed? It particularly yeah. it has to fail? Yeah, it has to fail and it can be worse. Oh, what other, what other words do you have for me? Malvagita. Malvagita. With an accent on the last vocal. Malvagita. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you hit you that guess. like button, guys. I'm trying my best. And that means what? Means evil. <laughs> evil. Oh, 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 oh. Malvagita. That is such a long word for the word evil. Word that is more common to say, you say cattivo, but it's very generic. Cattivo. But malvagita is more specific. It's about somebody that's very mean. Malice, yeah. like very, wow. Mal, yeah, that, kind of, see, yeah. That even sounds aggressive. Like, it sounds mean, like malvagita. Like, I would not be, I would not want to be called yeah. malvagita. Like, that sounds mean. So what are some mm. of the common phrases that usually gets used in your part of Italy? For example, chi non beve in compagnia, o è un ladro, o è una spia. That's, uh, one, that's one common phrase. That's one common phrase, yeah, it's kind of tricky. You usually say that when you go out with some friends and they're talking about some people, they say, oh, you know, if a person drinks alone, uh -huh. or it's a thief, <laughs> Or it's a spy. Oh. Ah. So is that like to pressure friends into drinking? Or is that like, is that like a... like They a, should drink, drink together, not alone. 
Oh, oh, that's so sweet. I like that. So if a, if a person's not drinking, it's either they're a spy or they're a thief. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the next one? Se non è zuppa, è pan bagnato. Something to do with a soup, and it's something. <laughs> yeah. What what what's what's wrong if with it's the soup? Not kind of if it's not soup, it's wet bread. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not soup, it's wet bread. <laughs> that is silly. When would I ever have to use that? When it's so obvious the result of something. Like uh, if it's not this, then of course it'll be the other thing. <laughs> oh like that. my god. That that's look at these sayings. It's so sweet. Like they have such an interesting way of putting it. I love that. Holy crap. <laughs> Another one. Ognuno ha la sua croce. Ognuna ha la sua croce. Yeah. 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 Everybody I... has its cross. Everybody uh, has uh, its own worries. His, oh, oh, everyone has their own worries. Like they have their own things to worry about. Okay. So, I, so so many interesting things that I, I love listening to about every single culture is some of the tongue twisters. Like I already feel like Italian is a tongue twister of its own. So it's like, this is just gonna be even more interesting. Okay, I have a very famous one that is actually funny also because it doesn't really make that much sense, but it's funny, it's very common. Yeah. Um, so it's... A pelle figlio da pollo fece una pala di pelle di pollo. Tutti i pesci vennero a galla per vedere la pala di pelle di pollo fatta da pelle figlio da pollo. Something about pala and polo, and I'm assuming someone got in trouble. That's that's as far as I think I could get. Did someone get in trouble in this in this tongue twister? Yeah, kind of means um, a pelle sono da pollo. A pelle made a ball of chicken skin, and all the fish rose to the surface to see the ball uh, of chicken skin made by a pelle sono da pollo. <laughs> You're right. Zero sense. But I like it. This like this doesn't play out in any scenario. It's just a tongue twister. Yeah, but it's very famous. Very it doesn't. Famous. Yeah, you don't doesn't really have to make that much sense. No, but wait, I didn't give you the very last and most important of oh, this. I almost skipped. I almost skipped. I'm sorry. What, what's this last one? It's from a dialect. <laughs> so be ready. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like some sort of Asian dialect too, like it's kind of interesting. What the Yeah, heck? yeah. Do Means we... if we have to go, we're gonna go. If we have to go, then let's go. If we have not, then let's not go. Oh, uh -huh. okay, so this one actually makes a little bit of sense, but you said it's like ancient, ancient Italian dialect from the southern area that you're in. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. really freaking cool. Okay, nice. Yo, I really appreciate that. So out of curiosity, how do I how do I properly say hi to someone and how do I properly say bye to someone? Oh, you say ciao. It's the common hello you say. Uh -huh. It's and you say informal, but usually you say that to greet it, to greet somebody, but also to leave if it's a, a, a friend of yours. Uh -huh. But mm, you can say arrivederci that it's maybe a bit more formal when you leave. Arrive, arrive, arriverde, what? Arriverderci, arriverderci. Without that much R's, no, arriverderci. <laughs> arriverderci. Oh! Oh, yes! Bravissimo! Yes! yes! Bravo! I did Bravo, it! Bravo. So now if you could solve the ultimate question, now that I know you're Italian and you are a professional pizza determiner, the, the, the term, the, you know what I mean. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Excuse me. Pineapple? Pineapple. I, I don't know what you're talking about. No! What do you mean? Pineapple does belong on pizza. I'm not your friend anymore. That's it. This is where this ends. You know what? I'm done with you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, Sylvia, thank you so much. Guys, a friendly reminder, if you want to get a lesson from Sylvia, she is absolutely incredible. It's going to be linked down below in my description box, along with some of my social media pages. While you're down there, check out our Patreon page. It's an amazing way you can help support this channel and what we do here. You can also find the link somewhere right here above me.
If you would like to send me a postcard, I always highly appreciate them. I'm a big fan. Just saying, I collect postcards. If you guys, you guys did not know that. This right here is my PO box. Make sure you let me know if you send something. It would be absolutely incredible getting to connect with you over Instagram, uh -huh, or via a letter. It'd be pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below in the comment section. And until next time, my friends, hasta la pasta. And I'll be seeing you guys on the flip side. Bye.